today we are going to collect a new car. Um, Lottie said to me the other week, she's like, you haven't bought a new car recently, Ben, or you haven't had any other, other cars for a while. So I thought, oh, it's, it's about time we, we get something else again. Um, this one's got a little bit of a, of a twist to it. I wasn't actively looking for this car at all. Um, there's a story behind it. It's kind of something that's that's fallen on my lap or I've been asked if I'd be interested in it. Um, I went to look at it um, end of last week um, and yeah, today is the collection day. Um, so I think this will be an interesting one. Yes. Is that over there? Yeah. Oh yeah. So here it is. This is the um, this is the new purchase. Um, a friend of ours, and he called me last week and asked if I'd be interested in saving or a project um, saving this Mitsubishi Evo, um, 2005 FQ300 um, MR, and it's been sat here for about three three and a half years now. Um, it's in a bit of a state. It needs. It won't run. Um, suspension's collapsed on the front brakes are seized on so we've got to get it towed away oh fun enough here's gab turning up now the recovery driver it's all moldy um it's we tried it with a booster it's it's not going at all it is it is literally um stuck so this this needs full-on saving the the twist is i think we're going to do it as a as a project through work kind of almost like a car sos so um finding it getting it over to work getting it up, seeing exactly what's gone wrong with it, and then from there, trying our best to put it back together and get it back to how it should be. Um, it's, it's a one owner car from new, um, it's only done 50,000 miles, so it is a good one. I'm confident that we will be able to save it, but until we get it to work and see what's going on, we're not really gonna know too much about it. Ha <laughs> 
being given Ben's project. It is a Mitsubishi Evo FQ300MR. It's a mouthful. So, obviously you've seen it being picked up. I've had a quick walk around it. The obvious stuff is the bodywork damage. It's quite bad. We have since tried to push it. The brakes are a bit seized. Near side front, the shock has corroded and collapsed onto the wheel. So, yeah, so this is it. So, the, my aim today is to get it up in the air, have a look over it, and write either a very short list or a very long list of the bits that we need to get it roadworthy. So, let's get it up in the air. First glimpse is a lot of water lying around. And that's, oh, many cobwebs, many, many cobwebs. This hasn't been driven for a long time. Looks like it's had a refurbished alternator on it at some point. It's got some nice Samco hoses. Nice bit of hard pipe. A HKS air filter, I would imagine that is, and that has seen its days. They are done. Like, there is more oil than, on that than there is in the sump, I think. One thing I will check before we go and fire it up is I'll just run the belt cover off and just make sure that's not ready to snap, because that would be catastrophe. So, yep, let's get it up and have a look underneath. So, as you can see, they have seen better days, very corroded. Calipers are a bit shoddy. Rear suspension, springs look good. Just so much the same along with all the cobwebs. The outer casing of the Bilstein shock has corroded. Now, if you follow me to the other side. Now, Ben wants me to take the wheels off and try and get that into a position so that we can get the car moving free. But the issue I've got with that is as soon as I take this wheel off, I think it's just gonna go. So I'm gonna try and tell him, let's not do that until we've got the new suspension, because otherwise it's a dead car. It can't be moved. We have some nice oil leaks. Join me. Look at that. That's a good one, isn't it? So we're gonna rectify that one for sure. Body-wise, it's actually really good. So there's some surface rust to be expected, but it's solid, it's good. The exhaust hang has snapped, the exhaust is all over the place, it goes wherever you want it to. Something I learned when I was reading up on these, so this is an MR. So with the MR you get a lightened rear differential, basically they made it out of aluminium instead of steel and it's got some upgraded gears and whatnot in there. The main thing I want to do today is get rid of that oil leak, get some fresh oil in it, put a new battery on it, try and see if it runs and then we can see if we've got any problems with the AYC system because that's where it's going to start costing money. See if we can't just all I want to do is just pull it back enough just have a little glimpse and make sure that it's not gonna fall apart on us when we go to start it okay so if you have a look here I have removed it you can see just pulled it back yes it does need replacing but I'm happy that that will run the car today uh, we're not going to be doing any big four-wheel drift so I think we'll be okay Now. Here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. We're good. Back in aftermarket alarms. He's Cobra trained. That's actually true. Oh, oh. making noises. Oh, I see. Stop what did moving. I tell you? See, this is what happens. Oh, I'll wait for it. Oh, 
Oh, you're so confident it was going to start. It will, it will start. It will start.